Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I was wrong. I mean, we, I, I don't have a show, so you may as well ask it. Yeah. What is, the, what is the, the worst job that you would tolerate doing? The worst job that I would tolerate doing? Yes. Dan, like, specifically? Like, You're asking me. Dan, this is uh, Doug Philburn from the uh, Washington Post. <laughs> Uh, his question is, what's the worst job you would tolerate? That's a really interesting question, because it, what's the worst job you would tolerate doing? So first you have to ask yourself, what's the worst job? Is it the worst? Like, yeah, the, 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 the one like that you're going like, to... Yeah, look, I'm pulling in a paycheck, but this is the, this is the, like, the, this is the lowest I'll go. Yeah, well, I kind of guess... I, but then, yeah, the word tolerate kind of needs to be explored there. Like, 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 like well, yeah, but, look, look, but does, that, okay. does that mean, let, like... Let's, let's say you're broke... I'll put some parameters on this. You're, you're broke. This is a fifteen dollar an hour. No, let's say minimum wage. A minimum wage job. Minimum wage jobs. All you can have. Right. And what's what's the worst thing that you would say? Okay, I'll get up out every morning and do this thing. And right below that is a job. Fuck it, I won't do it. Well, but I won't do it. Meaning what? I'd rather die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you, like, you'd rather go hungry, like and and just die, yeah. or or turn to crime. Oh I yeah, mean, or is, is, is crime a job? You know, like like because like, like, it, if if it's like oh, there, you can eat shit for four dollars an hour, you can eat oh. human shit. Like, well, no, give me your wallet. Like, like, <laughs> whoa, you're what are you, some kind of criminal? Yeah, it pays more. <laughs> well, yeah, but crime never pays. Well, it pays more than eating shit. Like, and 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 it and like you can't beat the hours. Like, like I'm out of here. Like, like I don't, I, I would never want to be a criminal, but I don't want to eat the shit. And like, so I don't know. I, I'm just trying to, I, I, I want to just, I want to be able to answer the question like dutifully, you know, like I, the, I mean, I, I. I, I, I was a dishwasher and I was awful at it, but I, I kept trying to be good at it. And I, I, I like, I don't know. I mean, I, it was pretty, it was, uh, I, I just, I, I, if I was good at it, if I thought I could have, could have gotten good at it, I, I think I could have kept doing it because it would be like, oh, but, but, but I'm, I know there's worse jobs. Cause like Jay Johnston, like used to, fucking, we worked at a fucking shit plant. He worked at the place where they clean shit and Shra Shrab worked at a place in Mayville where he, sc he scrubbed the rims of tanks where they keep the shit. <laughs> like, like, like I've not, I kind of think I can. Why does that need to be scrubbed? Uh, I, 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 <laughs> Keep because I guess, I, guess, I mean, I guess if you think about it, it's like, well, why does it need to be in a tank? And the answer is because it's got to be boundaries, you know. Like, so I guess it's like, so I know it's it's just simultaneously ridiculous, but then it's like, well, you know, it's like, like, hey, it's a tank full of shit, so why should the rim be clean? And then you'd be like, well, why should the outside be clean? Why should the place where the tank is be clean? Why should the city be clean? I guess I, I, I'm just trying to get All inside right, their heads. Dan, I, I'll ask you this. I'll we, tell you what. If I was if I was in charge of civilization, <laughs> the minute we got to the point where we needed to build a shit tank. I'd be like, we gotta, we gotta break up. Let's go our separate ways. Let's stick to tribes of a hundred people. So, I was like, let's use. Like, we found a good yardstick. It's like, like uh, for me, it was like, like because you can't remember more than a hundred people's names. There was uh, something. Uh, there was uh, somebody who just asked me a, a, a question about that. Was, oh, there was that. Well, they were like somebody. Somebody asked me um, because I was. We were in San Francisco, and before that, we were in Montreal. So I've, I've been experiencing a lot of like people recognizing me coming up to me and saying thank you uh you helped me through a lot or like uh, can i get a picture with you just like people just like attention that you don't you don't normally get uh in, in the course of your day-to-day -day life and somebody said how, uh, well, how, what how do you what do you what do you think about that what is that do you get bored with that do you not like that and i was like i think it's kind of like i think it's like vitamin c i think it's something that that everyone else gets like in, like zero of i think i think i think I think you're supposed to get it like, like ten times a day. That's not. I'm not using vitamin C as an analogy anymore. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think, and I think that if you lived in like a tribe of like a hundred people, I think that every single person equally, whether you were the guy that made the shoes or the the person that made the roofs or the the. I was. I'm like gender, gender, gender. Um, uh, the, the 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 woman that made the big pipes the, the, with the, the welding, um, or the guy that cut all the hair. Um, <laughs> so I, 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 I fucking. I live in a fucking like beam of light. Um, <laughs> Um, but if you if you're if you're the if you're uh, like like that everybody would f would would get that kind of like 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 everybody would walk would know each other's name and everybody would be like 
they wouldn't say, hey, can I take a selfie with you? But it would be like, the same energy. I acknowledge. I acknowledge you. what you do. Thank you, Glenn, for like like those shoes you made my kids. They fit good today, or whatever. Or oh boy, those roofs those roofs held up great last night under the rain, and etc. Everybody would everybody would have that feeling several times a day. And the only people that actually get it are like Brad Pitt and like 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 Donald Trump and like like and it's 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 like 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 oh look there he is 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 a thing that you should actually like get a dose of and, and so we should have. Like a, a, it's like communism, but for, for empathy, yeah. or, like or... social, like popularity, <laughs> popular commun. I just communist. think we're not meant biologically to live three hundred million to a TP. Like, 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 I, I don't, I just, I know, I, I think our bodies are, are still, are still, they, our muscle cells and our nerve cells and our brain cells, are still think that we're a chimp that mm -hmm. recently learned to talk and swing <laughs> sticks around. That's actually true. I read um, that according to uh, certain studies, your brain can only, or rather the different primates, uh, the different sizes of brains can only rep you know, hold a certain number of other primates and uh, recognize them as the same species. So the number for ours is about 165 people. Which is the exact so, size of a multi yeah. sitcom's audience. <laughs> exactly. I, I, that, that is why we play that sound over and over yep. again. You watch Big Bang Theory and you're like, oh, I'm being comforted. I hear my tribe laughing yep. with me. We don't play the sound of six million people laughing. No. Well, well, thing, well, because then we go like, yeah. wait, it's the ghost of the Holocaust. Why did I pick that number? <laughs> yeah. I could have picked any number. And any Outside, anyone outside of that number of 165 people is literally not human right. to you. Dan, would you rather, if you had the choice, uh, steady job cleaning out the poop tank, like the guy that gets down there with the hip waders on and cl like scrubbing out the poop tank, or life of crime, do whatever you want. Like you, you had to actually figure out your own way to like be a burglar or a pickpocket or a safe cracker or whatever. What would you pick? Safe poop job or if I, free? If I, I, I literally, I literally have to choose between poop, 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 poop tank and that. And, poop and, tank and, 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 and your own, find your own adventure crime. Well, like, you, like, you have to get up in the morning. And go, oh shit! Do I do I? Am I a, am I a, a burglar? Do I do I right. carjack I have people? I have, like to, an, I have to do something illegal. Yeah, this is like a super villain like origin story. <laughs> kind of. He was yeah. working in the poop, and then one day <laughs> he was given a he choice. He couldn't take any more. Would you rather wake up and go, shit? You know, like I, I don't want to go commit crimes every day and risk going to jail or risk, right. you know, like, or hurt other people or steal their property. I, 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 will, I will do the poop job. Or, I, or, or do you yeah. think you could be a good bank robber? Well, I don't. No, I don't think I'd be a good bank robber. Just for minimum wage. Huh? Let's say twenty dollars. Well, that's. What, I mean, that's like, like. Yeah, I have questions about like standard of living because like, c c because because if, if because there's people in the if if I it's a good union job. If I scrub that poop tank. Yeah. From from eight a.m. to eight p.m. Uh, to if, that, the union, you would only do, be doing a probably okay, right. eight hour. If day. I scrub that poop tank like 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 dutifully, do my job, show up, then Dut I clock dutifully. out dutifully. <sighs> You ask me these questions and then you just you're shrabbing me, man. Solid. <laughs> the shrabby bro. If, if I do that and then I come home and I can support a partner, yes. offspring. I mean, this, yeah. that's that's where everything uh, comes into play. A, a, a livable wage uh, at the poop tank. Well, but does that really mean it's just livable wage? Because we I mean, it's we've not, changed it's, the goalpost you're not, on a you're, generation. You're not going to be living high on the hog. You're, you're going to be making poop tank money. I, <laughs> but I, I can have a Christmas where my kids don't cry because maybe they got they got they got the Optimus Prime it, instead it of the Bumblebee. On, I think it, I think it depends on how much poop comes in that year. I mean, I think I think it's it's I open just, to and, the, and then there's the question of, of poop economy. There's the question of upward mobility and retirement. I mean, yeah. do, 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 am I guaranteed to be able to clean that poop tank for 30 years? If or am I a sucker union. if I do it for 20 and then they tell me, they, oh, we invented I'm a poop talking, cleaning robot. I'm you're, talking you're fucked. A, steady, a steady union wage poop tank job. That you're never going to be rich. But you will always put bread on the table. I would, I would, I would, I, th I would be very. I think I would take that if that. But but that, I mean that is making a lot of assumptions about like yeah. I would I would I would I would want to try that if that really if I really 
was had a had a guarantee of like you i can just do this every day and there's a certain amount of years i can do it where i get the pocket watch and the pension and blah 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 yeah. but by the way that's a myth now that's the problem that's what people are waking up to is that you can't you can't do that anymore which so i have to emphasize that that, that that's actually kind of a weird blue sky universe where you could do that that's like some lego world where you're like i'm a poop cleaning guy and i i get to do that that's the problem is that then flint michigan goes like no fuck you you don't make cars anymore and like like like, like and people are like what do you mean we're i, always, I was a we're always going to have to clean poop tanks. The poops, like that's always going to happen. You, we're having two different conversations here. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, because because the reality is, like if if, if there, there's like the blue sky with all these like like trigon, trigonometric like uh, 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 sort of like 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 everything being equal, just so we can focus on the thing I would choose. But then there's if we were just living in reality, how I understand this country to 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 operate and and how things are going. I, I would I would choose the crime job because I know that the poop tank job is going to be very much very similar to living in prison like 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 where I am only just working to stay out of trouble and I'm only getting enough money to to stay in debt and and that and that, and that I'm not going to be able to support my kids eventually something's there's going to be curveballs thrown and I'm going to be told to go fuck myself like I knowing that that's going to happen because we've dropped those like there's no guarantees, and I'm not saying like I'm not being Michael Moore and saying like we owe it to the workforce. To, I, I not necessarily. I'm just saying like 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 knowing as a subjective person that that I don't think I think the myth of retirement and the myth of the the, the that 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 job is over. I would I would I would go. I'm a smart guy. I could probably figure out how to steal shit from people that deserve to have shit stolen from them, <laughs> and like and like I'll once once I get caught and go to jail, it'll be a lot like cleaning shit tanks. <laughs> I feel like that's like most criminals, right? No, no criminals like I want to. I want. I want to do this because it's a bad thing, right? They, 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 they do it. They don't want to like, be a sucker. Yeah, they yeah. want to like. Welcome to the sense. podcast, sympathetic criminals. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I, I, but I also think there's a lot of like terrible people, <laughs> sociopaths that go like, well, I mean, yeah. I think, I think, I think we're severely lacking too in our national psyche in terms of like, you know, we don't know. It's, 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 it's a syndrome. It's the whole thing. Like there is no, there is no signal of this is what integrity is sent down from the top. There's no. It starts with the. You look up above you and you see people are greedy and horrible and they get away with whatever the fuck they want and then and they don't they don't they don't they don't share their profits and they don't they don't they don't make any promises that they can keep and and so you go like I don't want. It doesn't start with like I'm so mad and I'm gonna get mine. It starts with I don't want to be a sucker. I don't want to like do this for 15 years and then get fucked over. Like so you go. Somebody goes like, hey I. I could, I could, you know, if you take this off the top, you can sell it, and like your your family can get a thing. Like I, I'm basing this all on movies. I don't know what the actual, <laughs> but but also just a kind of common sense. I think that's uh, Spencer. Have you ever, ever, ever stolen anything? Oh, all the time. <laughs> I never stop. <laughs> For real, you hear that. about that? Did uh, you ever shoplift? Earth shine Jane glass. Oh yeah, that was you. <laughs> that was you all along. Oh yeah. You you, you, you never shoplifted or. Boosted anything in your life? I mean, I don't know. I think I've taken a couple candy bars. As far as people I talk to in general, people have shoplifted a lot more than I have. Uh, because it's like a weird thing. They say you do it until you get caught, but I've only done it like five times. <laughs> I, did, I did it until my mom caught me. I was like, do you know what you're doing? And I was like, well, yeah, I'm taking candy. Like yeah, not, They have it. so much of it. And she was like, <laughs> if everyone took candy, there wouldn't be candy. They'd have to raise the prices of the candy and all that. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I didn't. I never got like shamed for it. I got oh, caught, God, like, I did. I got caught like with, with like, uh, I think it was like $1,000 of, of, <laughs> of sunglasses. But it was like, <laughs> it, it was that oh! it, it was that phase. It was like that phase in high school where, like, where I you just had like, yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't even like sunglasses I wanted. It was an open. I was with my friends, and it was an open thing, and we were just like, oh, we this is we have this power, right? And it's like for the first time in your life, you have access to, uh, uh, like social capital, right? And and it's it it feels like you you figured out a secret path. And yeah. So, so you took them. Yeah, and then I got caught. <laughs> oh, no. They, oh, yeah. they bring you to the back room. Well, a thousand dollars—that's grand theft. Like you, you I know. Yeah, I gotta, were you over eighteen or I think, under eighteen? I, I, I like, I like cried a lot, and and they let. Were they you over never, or under eighteen years old? Uh, under, I think it was under. Yeah, it's like no, 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 no. I was. I think I'm already over. Yeah, you can do time for that shit, man. Yeah, yeah um, that was lucky. Uh, yeah. I got, uh, I, I yeah, got I'm caught stealing when I was five. Um, I. <laughs> <saw> <laughs> I didn't trust you. I mean, what's happening? Is it just a 
When I was when I was five, they were I was supposed to pick up two keys of of, of kratom <laughs> at the loading docks. <laughs> Motherfuckers stepped on it. <laughs> I took a toot. I knew what was going on. Yeah. I had to jack them, <laughs> marina style. That's right. <laughs> so there was there was massage involved because I felt bad for him afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there, there was a massage based crime that was. Yeah. Yeah. She can kill Not you with real. massage. You, if you, you she, if she can heal pain, she can cause it. She's like a cleric. I can make you throw it. Yes, there you go. Yeah, totally. Six five. Uh, yes. Yeah. I approve of that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer approved. I had taken a teddy bear to the grocery store um, and stole a five-pound bag of jelly beans because I was very ambitious and uh, also economic. What I if the teddy bear never laughs. came back into the story? <laughs> you said you took a teddy bear to the was, grocery store. It was store. my teddy bear. I took right. it and I hid the bag behind uh, behind the bear okay. against my chest and I made it. I got out. And I went home and uh, went into. The, I had this uh, Sesame Street tent in my bedroom, and I right. but I just had no patience. So I opened the bag and I started eating them, and I didn't realize this, but I would left like a trail of jelly beans <laughs> leading to the tent. Why? So my uh, my parents found me and uh, they told they made me go back to the store after giving me a long lecture about how I had tarnished the family name. Oh shit. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> just dragged it through the mud. And we lived in a very small... I, I grew up in a fishing village. And so everybody knew everybody. So That's, that's, why, your name really is, that's why your name is Marina. <laughs> she, she is it Wonder Woman. Is. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, I had to apologize uh, for that. And uh, my parents had weird ways of teaching me uh, moral lessons. When I was about the same age, I'd, we, we went to New York and I saw... Um, a, a little person for the first time in my life. I didn't think he was real. I thought he was a puppet that somebody had just ingeniously designed to walk on its own. So I just was just, he had a little suit and a little briefcase. (laughs) (laughs) And so I was just marveling over this mechanical man (laughs) to to, to my brother, just, you know, making Mm. a scene. And uh, my mom made me... uh, get up off the uh, subway seat and offer my seat to him, even though he already had a seat of his own. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, but take take hers. All the more delicious for your tiny buttocks. (laughs) These are are padded with revenge. We we have a family name to protect you. (laughs) (laughs) What is your family's name? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, God. We can't drag the f- the name of McGillicuddy through this sort of film. <laughs> uh, no, it was Eller, but that's you know nobody. Yeah, no, I mean. Yeah. Don't, don't. Uh, no. <laughs> so you went all the way to Robot right away. Like I you, did, uh, it was the, <laughs> it was the like only baby. thing that made sense. I didn't know this was a thing, mm. and uh, I just had to had to figure out how. There was a worked. there was a guy uh, in South Milwaukee. Uh, uh, god damn it, what was his name? It was a robot. It was a no, there was a my grandma would go, Do you want to go? Damn it, what was his name? It was something, he, he was it was a title. It was like, like, like Do you want to go to this McDonald's? There was a oh, McDonald's in South Milwaukee, and he's the brownie, right? Yeah, yeah, and his name was like, Bi- Oh, Billy the brownie. Um, I, 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 I was fucking like scared shitless by um, the concept of little anything I, um, uh, when I was a kid. I, I, don't, I had nightmares about uh, marionette puppets and 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 regular puppets and just anything small. Like I just, I just thought was trying to kill me. I, like dolls and things. I just, they, they were all, I just terrified of all of them. And there was a guy named Billy the Brownie that hung out at the McDonald's. I, my grandma would make it seem like he was part of the McDonald's mythos, but he wasn't. <laughs> like as I grew it's older, like I was like, "Wait, I had a right to be freaked out." There's no Billy the Brownie in these commercials. <laughs> this was just a fucking dude, like, 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 the, like, like in that Donald Sutherland movie, like, uh, Mash. No, uh, <laughs> no, I like, don't look now. <laughs> go, go, Google don't look now, like, 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 uh, but, 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 like, uh, it's a seventies like thriller horror movie. But, uh, it, 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 but it was like it was like like, 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 like he was just he was just a guy that was there. He would and he would dress as a brownie and he would come to your table and like talk to, to you. Grandma, like the dessert like... or the uh, the fairy. 
Like the fairy. Oh, oh, yeah, like the fairy, like the like a like the mythical creature. Sorry, I didn't clarify that. I mean, she would, yeah, Billy the Brownie, They're like like, like a little person. He was a little person, and he would dress like a. No, I do. He wouldn't dress like a brownie. My grandma maybe just called him Billy the Brownie. Oh my God. <laughs> She created I don't think he didn't dress thing. like a fucking Ren Fair like like they, I think he was just a dude that was trying to like maybe have his breakfast. He could have been a truck driver. So your grandma called him Billy the Brownie. Yeah, and I know I'm realizing like maybe that be, me and Billy the Brownie were both being abused by my grandma, like 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 put into a can like two wasps and just shake shaken. Like 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 hey, here, talk to him. He's Billy the Brownie, and I'm like, what the fuck? And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I, I never was. Well, yeah, I would. I, I was real scared of Billy the Brownie. And there was a. There was a. There was a. Uh, there was a, a marionette doll that my mom had in the closet that she called Clemens C. Clemens, who had this was like this weird like. Like like what is that like it's like it was like it's like paper mache but like hardened it was like like this this little guy had a little little straw hat on and it's just like all fucked up like looking like and she'd like bring it out once in a while and be like well, it's Clemency Clemens and I go get it out get it away it's a fucking horrific horrible little murderer it was like 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 Freddy Krueger looking thing with strings coming out of every joint it's like controlling it it's like a spider it's like 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 every Everything about it, it's fucking terrifying. And then she'd like, "Oh, it's okay, 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 you pussy." I'm putting it back in the Tupperware container and putting it in the closet. Like, yeah, the closet across from my bedroom. Like, I now know, like Clemens C. Clemens is just in there, like, 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 like thinking about me. Wants out. Yeah, like yeah, he, he knows justice. that I, I, I'm the one. Like, okay, Clemens C. Clemens, Daniel doesn't like you. It should, it should, you might as well. You guys, you gotta go back to sleep in this, this, this plastic container across from his bed. <laughs> Does he have a backstory? Clemens was that like a hobby of hers? I don't know if my mom is made it the doll. C my dad or Clemens C. Clemens. Oh, Clemens C. Clemens. Is, is it Clement C. Clemens? Oh God, yeah. It's, it's, it's weird. It's like a New Clemens Line Cinema like horror movie. Like it's like like it's like, oh, it's, it's Clemens C. Clemens. Like he like he he, he, he got Clemens C. From, his, from his yeah. Tupperware for his horrible prison. murders. Yeah. Yeah. He's still waiting for that pardon. I'm gonna have nightmares about Clemency Clemens. I'm picturing the closet and the Tupperware. Oh, we all will. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I used to. I I used to have. I had nightmares. I had recurring nightmares about a character that was like a little puppet that was like. I guess it was because of Mr. Rogers. You had like the little puppet char characters, and I like the boomerang, boomerang lady, boomerang uh, the lady that Fairchild. That was scary. Um, lady. And I yeah, and there was like a there was a version of her in my nightmares that yeah, was always tormenting me. Um, well, I had a, I always had a re recurring nightmare where I'd be like, it would be like, you know, uh, it was like a black background with with only just like well lit fog on the ground, you know, like one of those dreamscapes. And it's midnight, and I know it's midnight because there's this Muppet style grandfather clock, <laughs> and he strikes midnight, and when he strikes midnight, he shoots arrows into my body. <laughs> And I get struck by 12 arrows. It was a recurring nightmare I had. Dealing 20 damage. I was just going to say that. <laughs> yeah. It was a critical hit. <laughs>